Hi, we are the three Black Pratt grads. We are not the Porky Huck and Yogi Show. This is my friend Greg Cleghorn. This is my other friend Kenneth Nelson. And I'm Mark Skinner. Today we are talking about photographs that describe the word hello. And the first person who's going to present their photograph today will be Kenneth. <laughs> Okay, well, let me start off by saying that, hello, how are you? And how do you greet people hello, when you say hello? Hello, hello. Right? You usually hello. look at them in the face, right? So this is what happens when I go out and I'm a street shooter and people see a camera in front of them and they sort of like ham it up for the camera. And so it's like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> Can you see me now? You know, so... Uh, uh, so when I'm outside and I'm photographing and in places such as this, um, uh, I'd say one person out of every 500 may ham it up for the camera or maybe one person every day may ham it up for the camera. So for this particular day, this guy was the uh, the one who was ham it up, um, you know, and he sees me with the camera, <laughs> says, hey, yo, gives me the peace sign or hello or whatever's doing. And, you know, there he is. So. Uh, that's one for that. That's Times Square. And this one, which is a little bit less uh, demonstrative, but nonetheless, OK. Uh, and again, it's 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 amazing to see. I try to be an obtrusive when I'm uh, out there photographing. And so uh, but yet people always see. It, right? And so I think this is one of those instances where uh, he this person is this person in dead center smiling and with a little smile and that eye contact. And it's th it's that eye contact that says hello. It, no, no word need be said. The eyes just need to make contact with the camera or the person. Uh, in this particular instance, it's in contact with the camera. So it's a kind of a delicate situation to wonder what this person is thinking at the time they're looking at the camera. Remember, they're looking at the camera and then they're not look, look, looking at me in my face because when I'm taking the photograph in this particular instance, the camera is about chest high. So they're looking at camera, they're not looking at my eyes. So that brings into the question as to what their thought process is. But as a viewer, it's a different thought process because as the viewer, that person is looking at you. So uh, that's my uh, contribution to hello. <laughs> okay. All right. So next up is Greg with his few photographs about. Uh, oh, am I? Am I up next? You're up about about photographs that okay. describe hello. Hello. Interesting. Interesting topic. This is yours, right, Skinner? Nope. This is yours, Greg. This is my topic. No, this is, yeah, this is Greg's, I'm sorry, this is Mark's topic, but this is your My topic, screen. this is your photograph. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Well, <laughs> But you were under the weather, so I wasn't sure if you were asking if it was my photo or yours. No, no, never mind. Right. Um, uh, yeah, bigger the gun, the more fragile the masculinity, you know, I mean, hello, it depends, you know, this was, uh, in uh, D.C. for the uh, Marjorie Taylor uh, March. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Just a whole bunch of folks, you know, getting together and uh, expressing their opinions. I thought this was kind of a hello moment to me. <laughs> oh, baby gun. Right. Okay, we're moving right along. Quick. <laughs> Okay, and this one of my ever popular one. I I, I hope and not that I hope, but um, you know, a, a dark ages plague mask. You know, we're kind of still fighting through this COVID thing and and the variants and all of that madness. And I I uh, got a kick out of um, I, I there's a a, a liquidator. Uh, well, it was a liquidator close by me, and um. You, there was no telling what you were going to get, but I thought I thought it was absolutely uh, ironic and a little bit apropos to you know find a a, a plague mask in the middle of COVID. Okay, go ahead. That kind of that was a big hello for me, you know. And uh, and uh, down there when I was uh, vac uh, vacay, you know, I saw some of the healthiest, most most beautiful cows. 
And uh, I wish I could show you the video of this one. He was happily, you know, finding his sweet grass selects and snapping them up. And um, I was getting closer and closer. And then, then he popped his head up. He's like, hello. Mm, give me a big move. Hello. <laughs> and he was just so chill. He didn't, like, try to run away. He just came up and looked at me. I'm like, uh, good morning. <laughs> What? Do I have more? <laughs> this is this is the video. Oh, oh, there's the video. Yeah, the the demon sheep. This is uh, this is the curry goats. That uh, uh, up there, he popped up. Did you say curry going. goats? Did you say yeah. curry goats? <laughs> yes, I did. They, and the, the world the, famous curry goats. Uh, as he come, as he lifts season. his head up, as it lifts his head up, its eyes are glowing. Why is that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I backed up. If you know, I'm like, oh, demon animals. I'm glad he's tied up. <laughs> if he started running at me, I'd be, I'd have been in trouble. But uh, I don't think that was enough for me. So that was my hello, hello morning. I'm hello. Morning. So <laughs> hey, did 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 is the one of you up there? Or are you not going to show you that one? I ran into you at the at, at the Easter parade. I didn't upload that one. Oh, no, that sir, was you... a hello moment. Dang it! That was yep. a hello moment for me because you know I'm having fun just snapping away, and like right in front of me, it's <laughs> Ken Nelson at the same event snapping away, and I'm like, hey, hello. <laughs> that, was my, that was my favorite hello moment. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Very good. Very good. Okay, I just have one photo, and it's actually a scan of a transparency that I did way back when I was at Pratt. It was a student work that some sort of student work that I did. The idea was for a it was a, a graduate student there named Chris Reeve, and he had created these hats that he was selling. Uh, I think they were selling in Bloomingdale's and a couple of other stores at the time. This is in the mid '80s, and uh, in the studio, we actually decided we were going to do some photographs depicting how great these hats were and sort of it was a, for the introduction of his line of hats and so uh, at the time in the 80s pre-internet one of the big deals was that if you were going to go to the theater you probably would dress up i mean these days i mean <laughs> people don't tend to dress up all the time to go to the theater maybe some special occasion but just just you to know, see a matinee or something i look like back in the days where people would dress up just to travel you know right but you you can tell but you, but you can tell this is an old photograph not only is is one model wearing uh evening wearing long gloves long satin gloves uh and pearls which i don't think a lot of people do too much anymore but you can also tell because the other model has a playbill in hand that has, I think it's like, looks like it would have been for cats. Yep. So, um, and like I said, it's, it's not. What an awful play. I have no but, idea but, why that thing lasted so long. Did you guys ever see well, that play? Uh, no. no, no, no. But I will say this, is that the idea was how do you describe hello for a, uh, in, 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 in sort of a, uh, in sort of a, like a, a like an, like an, an ad. And uh, like I said, this was student work that we did back at Pratt uh, in the mid '80s in the studio there. If they had a really, you know, if we if we'd known more about studio lighting, I would have been able to get a little bit more uh, on the hat itself and some other things. But it's okay for for what we had back then, and and that's really about it. It still communicates the idea, and that's really that's really it. That's just my one photo. The idea of what. Well, the idea that it's a brand new line of hats and it, you're saying hello, and it's so interesting that rather than look at the play that's before her, the other model decides to take her opera glasses and look at this wonderful hat. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's really it. You kind of say, you know, and, and she's sort of saying herself to hello, saying hello to him. And it's a way to convey the idea of hello with, you know, the hats being a new product that's available. So it was twofold. But that was many, 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 many years ago. And like I said, the, the poor quality of the scan is just because I did a quick scan of a, of a <coughs> trend kicking around for 30 some odd years. And that's really about it. 
between 35 and 36 years. And that is it. That is so I guess you guys have any more to say about uh photos that describe hello? No, sir. I don't. No. All right. Well, despite the glowing with my eyes when I raise my head, I am not a demon curry goat. Mm -hmm. So I will say this. We have been, and as Greg likes to say, we, we still continue are. to be three. We still are three Black Pratt grads. And I'm Mark Skinner. I'm with Kenneth Nelson, Greg Clegg. Good night.